Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion video and in today's video I am not alone I'm joined by Real to Real aka Mark aka Better Than The Rest <laughs> aka aka anyways we're gonna talk about Broly and three potential ways we can bring Broly into Dragon Ball Super now this is a fun video something you're gonna have fun with and uh, you know Mark is he's the crazy guy he's got all these crazy ideas and theories so I'm gonna let him kind of just talk about it here but nonetheless before we get into it how are you doing today Mark thanks for joining me on today's video bro I'm good D free thanks for having me uh you I'll know. do the best, man. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I'm actually getting done with finals, so obviously I have a little bit more free time on my hands. So yeah, it's it's always good to always get like back in touch with everyone. Skype. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, one of the things that you kind of came to me with as like an idea for Broly coming back was you can kind of throw him in there as like a universe six Saiyan. You want to kind of talk about that here a little bit? Well, yeah. Okay. So when we kind of met Kaba in the universe six tournament arc you know when we were kind of going with that it was kind of implied that Kaba was somewhat of a strong Saiyan but not necessarily like we have no confirmation one way or the other whether he is the strongest Saiyan who's ever lived or anything like that and one of the things they could actually do because we have very little idea of not only of the universe six Saiyans uh their mythology their history and everything or even the universe seven Saiyans and that idea you could just kind of Go to Universe Six's like Planet Sadal and explain like, okay, well like Cobb is just like a group of these young children who are basically prodigies of being Saiyans and everything, and like Cobb is either training them or something, and oh here's this one named Broly, and maybe he's like an evil person or something like that, and that's like a villain down the arc or something, and another arc or something like that that they have to deal with. Plus even just having a Saiyan as an enemy, like a main antagonist, someone different, and actually going back to kind of the roots of Dragon Ball Z, where you had Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta, and like legitimate threats that are Saiyans. That would be really cool. Plus, you know, there's just so much left to explore in Universe Six's Planet Sadal versus Universe 7's like Saiyans that's already been kind of swept clean at this point. That that would be the thing. They just don't thing. exist anymore. <laughs> they just don't exist anymore. <laughs> and to me, like that would probably be the easiest thing for them to do, just introducing Broly. It's like, okay, well, yeah, the movies never happen. We understand that it never happens, but Dragon Ball Super has been nothing but nostalgia at this point. Like nothing but nostalgia. And I wouldn't really put it past them to actually go out and introduce Broly as a, a character in the canonized version of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super and introduce him in this way and actually give us that type of a character. And you know, you can bring back like in certain ways his hatred for goku or something else like that i mean like they, they could have they would have a little bit more free room to play with it than just basically bringing in the character from those movies that we know where you would have to retcon a lot about him anyway if you're going to do that so this would probably be the easiest way for them to do it and still get like all the fan recognition and all the concepts and be able to develop his story in my opinion I agree. I think that that whole, for one, I think Universe 6 is like a whole thing that we have the opportunity to explore. And I did think that there was a lot of opportunity there as well with the Vegeta Kaba relationship. And, you know, Vegeta's peaked interest in the planet, Sadal or Salad, whatever it is. Um, and I do think that that Broly being, you know, a Universe 6 saying would be a cool concept. So I, I actually personally wouldn't be opposed to that. Another thing here that we have, though, going on is maybe what about the idea of, you know, time rings being used in the series? We saw time rings in the most recent arc and, you know, the implications of them. But what if they're used to basically merge the timelines and the movie timelines? What about that? I personally, like, I really kind of like this idea. Um, this is something that they could do either as like a legitimate arc or, you know, one thing that the movies do, or anime movies do in general, we saw in all the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z movies, is they're not canon to the story. They're just kind of like offshoot stories that either take place in their own kind of timeline or in their own kind of like continuity that are just outside of the main story that's going on. And they're just kind of little fun stories. If you're going to take Dragon Ball Super and give it any type of a movie, and you want that movie to succeed, you know, outside of just like bringing back Frieza or basically like retelling any of the arcs that they've already done with Dragon Ball Super, just give it its own movie like Dragon Ball Z had, this would be kind of a way to do it. Whether this is like an arc or like I said, been saying a movie in general, they have these MacGuffins of time rings where we've already seen Zamasu basically take this and go and manipulate an entire other timeline by basically killing all the other gods of destruction and all this other stuff. 
and basically manipulating an entire multiverse into his like will. I wouldn't actually hate. I would not actually hate to see that them do that with, you know, just bring back Broly and then kind of explain away really quickly in a movie or in an arc. You know, these timeline rings exist. Uh, someone was able to get them, and now Broly, for whatever reason, is in this particular continuity, and we have to find him again. And he has this power up or whatever. You know, be it magic or something else like that you know drives the story or some kind of godly force driving the story and he's just basically the henchman any way to get broly in there like the the one that everyone loves and everyone is like kind of gushing over i feel like that would be an interesting not only creative like creatively but also just kind of a business centric move for toei to make going forward is just Everyone loves Broly. They know they have a cash cow. They already did the same thing with Trunks, you know, just bringing him back when we all thought that he was done. So, like, basically, in my opinion, anything is up in the air at this point. They can do almost anything they want. I mean, Yamcha just got, like, a freaking uh, his <laughs> own his own legitimate anime or manga series. So, you know, anything is up in the air, and I would not put it past them to do another Broly movie in this way or in some other way, you know, Maybe the maybe the next one or anything. But what are your thoughts on that? I agree. I think that a Broly movie would be pretty cool, and you know, it would be cool in the sense that a lot of people really enjoy the Broly character. You know, for for what, whatever reasons they have, they enjoy the character, and I think that that would be a good. You know, like you kind of touched on it there as a, a marketing ploy. It'd be a good way for them to kind of get that moolah because that's all it really comes down to <laughs> in the end of the day. You know, it's a good way because then, you know, you got the movies again. You can sell more toys and all that stuff. So Broly is honestly one of the most profitable characters in the series. But, you know, I think that as far as like a movie goes and then using the time rings to merge a timeline, that's an outside kind of looking in kind of idea. And I do like it. It's totally different. It's it's just different enough to make sense, but it's just different enough at the same time to where I just don't see them actually doing it. <laughs> like, I think it would be a cool thing that I could say makes sense. But the thing about that is, too, it would have to kind of apply to all the different continuities of all of the movies. It can't be, like, self-contained within the Broly movies. Um, so that means that, you know, they'd have, like, Janemba and all these other guys and all that stuff, which would be cool as well. I mean, um, bringing, bringing back Janemba, open up the gates of hell and bringing in all those old movie characters, I mean, that would... I would be okay with that, honestly. That would be pretty cool, in my opinion. And yeah, like, that's what to, I'm saying. They it have would to be cool. I just don't they... think that they would do it because it's too outlandish <laughs> for them. But it'd be an awesome <laughs> idea. <laughs> Speaking really of cool. outlandish, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the last thing that I have seen kind of tossed around, honestly, since Dragon Ball Super's inception: the possibility of Broly being a god of destruction of one of the f- remaining universes. What do we have about this, Mark? <laughs> okay, so I've heard a lot. I've heard this too all the time you know it's like i've heard basically the first thing that we talked about where like maybe he's a universe six saiyan i haven't necessarily heard the time rings i'm sure other people have come up with that uh in their own right somewhere down the line this is the one i've heard from fans more than anything else just they want him to be a god of destruction i'm not necessarily sure how that plays into it but there are certain ways that you can kind of work around this in my opinion i mean uh, in dragon ball super you had zeno or uh, we tell everyone that zeno basically destroyed six other universes because you know the blink of an eye because he got mad or other stuff like and the one thing that's always pissed me off about that is the fact that having six other universes with the way that we actually explained how the 12 universes work uh being mirrors of each other really kind of you know, t- puts this in a weird tilting. Like that makes no sense. Like, what were these other six universes? Were they twins of each other? That completely goes cr- like against the thirteen rule. You know, they they both add up to equal thirteen. Well, I'm not necessarily sure how it works mathematically, but you can also like in a movie or in an arc or anything basically explain that those 16 universes or the 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 18 universes are basically instead of every universe having two twins like a a twin of itself everyone had two twins and that would be a cool way to bring in like the whole this is why that we had all these dragon ball movies and dragon ball z uh movies that had no idea like nothing to do with the timeline but they were basically different in and of themselves and or just interesting, like, or even even if, like, you don't want to use the timelines in general, you can basically say, well, okay, Universe 6 and 7 basically had t- 
timelines of themselves with uh, Saiyans and Frosts and Frieza characters, but so did this third universe that got wiped out that was basically their brethren, and that had a Saiyan who was also a god of destruction or something like that, and that's Broly, and you use basically something either close to his design or, you know, you know, interestingly close to its design or something, and that's how you like how that's how you explain it away without having to say, well, despite these two universes being basically twins of each other, and they're the only ones who are twins of each other, and why are there other Saiyans and other universes? Uh, like, while every other universe or every other two universes should be completely different and not be necessarily the same or kindred to the ones that we've actually been in, that's my only explanation there. So if one of the other six universes that got destroyed was actually kind of a twin or brethren of universe six and seven, and then you can explain away why there's just like a whole nother set of Saiyans and maybe even a God of destruction who was a Saiyan. And maybe that led to all six of those universes getting destroyed. That's the only thing I can come up with, honestly. <laughs> Broly, look what you did to the community you got mark thinking of all these crazy outlandish <laughs> ideas <laughs> that's the so let me just kind of do this really quick as far as my personal agreement slash rankings of these you know i would kind of <laughs> say that i think that that's the least possible option <laughs> and the most possible option would be the universe six one i do think that that one is kind of the cleanest one that i can see actually happening Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it would just kind of work really well, just in my opinion. Even if he's somebody that's just kind of there, they slowly weave into the you know the cast and the story or whatever the case is, mm -hmm. um, or they build up slowly. I think it will work out best that way. I, on the on the on the flip note, I do think that the timeline thing is probably the most interesting one, and the God of Destruction one. I just am like, yeah, uh, I agree. I, <laughs> I I agree. And in fact, like it would be really interesting to. Yeah, for me, one of the reasons why having Broly be kind of a rebooted version of himself that is Universe 6 based is whenever Goku and Vegeta basically go to Universe 6, and if it's even remotely close to what Kaba explained, the whole planet Sadal being and how their society is and everything, you know, they're good people and all this stuff. They don't necessarily understand the power of the Saiyan. They don't necessarily understand like the limits that they can actually reach. To me, it would be really cool to have Goku and Vegeta come in, basically change what's been going on or basically how they view, teach them about themselves in one way or the other. And then because of that, that leads to like a villain who hates them just for their own reasons. And then like you can start to kind of bring in the whole concept of maybe even help explain like why they can turn Super Saiyan. Why can they turn Super Saiyan God and what the hell Super Saiyan Rose was? I I think that would be cool to have a legitimate threat of a Super Saiyan villain or a Super Saiyan God villain or an evil Super Saiyan God villain um, just for the entire series to give us a lot more context into what it is Saiyans are and how they operate and why they are the way they are. If they if the series would actually do that, I think people would lose their shit. Even if it actually even tried to explain. It didn't even it doesn't even have to make sense. But if they were in the process of even trying to explain what all this was about, I think people would lose their minds. Yeah. I I don't know. I think Broly, like we kinda of talked about a little earlier, is one of the most profitable characters, but you know, he, he'd be a cool character. And the thing about it is, like, the Universe 6 thing is they could probably, if they don't kill him off, you know, they could probably make him a recurring character or something like that, which would be really cool, too. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Broly is Broly, and people <laughs> love him. So, anyways, to kind of wrap up the video here, I want to know, and Mark, I'm sure, does as well, want to know uh, down below in the comments what your favorite one of these ideas is and if you have anything else you can contribute down below in the comments get a conversation going we'll be in there checking that out but nonetheless thank you for joining me on today's video mark it was definitely a pleasure to talk about the legendary super <laughs> cyan yes cyan broly <laughs> no man anytime uh, anytime you want me in i'll t i'll just tell you all my crazy freaking theories yeah, Mark is the theory guy. If you guys enjoyed any of the ideas here, they're 100% original from Mark. Link is in the description. You guys can go check his channel out and subscribe over there. He's going to get a lot more active because he's been really busy, but he's going to get more active. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, thank you for tuning me, uh, joining me for today's video, bro. Like I said, always a pleasure. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bye.